Hi guys, how are you? This is Lazo. Welcome to another of my videos. If you have seen my videos for a while, you've probably noticed, or you probably don't know, but I usually like film my intro and outro at the same time by the end of my makeup looks or by the end of my videos. Uh, that's like the last thing that I record. So my camera dies, so we have like a different angle, a different camera, different view, uh, but I hope that doesn't matter. And today I want to show you this makeup look using the Nikita palette collaboration with Morphe. It's a very nice palette and I don't think it's that expensive. Like Morphe in general, I don't think it's very expensive. So if you want to know how I do it, then keep on watching. But before that, don't forget that you can subscribe by clicking on the button down below and activating the notifications bell button so you don't miss any of my videos. But now, without further ado, let's jump into the video. This is what the palette looks like and I fell in love since the first moment I saw it at Ulta. Um, I'm especially like intrigued by this colors or these shades right here, like this one, this two, and this one in the corner. So we're gonna try to do a look using some purples and some reds or oranges on the outer corner of the eye. I'm pretty sure you've already kind of seen this look before on pictures, Pinterest, and things like that. I'm starting by taking this small blending brush and taking the shade Fatal or Fatali um, and putting it on the autochronome mat. Now I'm gonna apply the shade Pussycat and apply it still on the outer corner of the eye. Now with this done, I'm gonna start applying some of the uh, Mama Dragon shade, which is this purple shade right here. And apply it all over the lid. This is kind of pigmented, but I've always been a fan of more of the shimmer shades and the matte colors. But it looks like it's very pigmented. Like this palette looks very nice. I did another look before this one with the palette just to kind of like try it out. And it seemed like it was a good palette. And that's what I've been trying to do lately, like getting palettes that are out of the usual, like I feel like most of the palettes that I have or that, that I've seen that uh, go on sale are like the normal colors and they're very common in most of the palettes so I'm trying to look for something that is very unique and that I can create uh, different looks with. I'm gonna go back and forth blending these two shades so I'm gonna go um, back with the Pussycat and also with this purple and try to like have that nice blend between the two of them. Okay, now with this done, I'm gonna try to apply a little bit of this Matrix shade right here, which is like a glittery one. I'm gonna do a close-up so you guys can see it. I think it looks pretty interesting. I'm gonna try to apply it with a flat brush um, and see if I can apply it. If not, I'm gonna go ahead and use my finger because for shimmer shades, it's easier to apply them with your fingers. They get more pigmentation than if you, you apply them with a brush. So I'm gonna try to go ahead with this one. If I don't like the color, I'm gonna continue with Full Fantasy which is this other one in the uh, opposite corner. Okay, it's not too bad to apply it with a brush, but I don't think it's the shade that I want to go with for this look. So I'm going to go with Full Fantasy and apply it with my finger. Yeah, this is definitely the deeper purple that I was looking for. Also, the feeling of Full Fantasy, it's kind of weird. It feels a little like buttery. I don't know how to explain it but it is very easy to like mold and blend I guess and also to apply it okay since we now have a really deep purple I'm gonna go ahead and enhance those red and orangey shades on the outer corner Now I'm going to be applying some foundation. The foundation that I'm using is Fenty Beauty on the shade 310. I had already previously moisturized and prepped my skin prior to starting all of this makeup. I always like doing my eyes before my foundation just, 
just so that if I have any fallout, I can correct it with my foundation and my concealer. And also I can have like clean out everything on the eyes, like at this like sharp line here on the outer corner. Okay, foundation's done and I did my eyebrows before my whole makeup. So eyebrows are done as well. I think what I'm gonna do next is do eyeliner so i'm gonna do like a small wing on the outer corner and that's what i've been liking to do since i have eyelash extensions is just do like a little bit on the outer corner instead of doing like the whole eye it's just easier with extensions for eyeliner i'm using the hank and harry eyeliner and this is like a more like a pen um and it's been my ultimate favorite for like the past two years and now we're gonna move on to contouring i've been using the NYX Wonder Stick for contouring. Um, I haven't been using it for that long, probably like for a week so far, and I really like it. Just mainly to contour like my nose and like my cheekbones. For my nose, I just like to do like two lines right here, just to make it seem a little thinner. And also some lines on my cheekbone, under my cheekbones. And I like to blend it either with a flat brush or with a beauty blender so right now i'm gonna go and do it with a beauty blender i don't know if it does much of a difference but anything helps okay so once our face is kind of done we're gonna be adding some eyeshadow to the bottom lash line so i'm gonna apply the shades pussycat and nicole and apply both of those on the bottom lash line now on top of that color i also want to add some of the purple so I'm going to take the shade Mama Dragon right here and apply some of that on the bottom lash line. Once that's done, I'm going to apply some concealer and I'm going to show you my ultimate favorite, which is the Bare Minerals Concealer. It's this tiny thing, which makes me love it so much. It's so perfect for traveling and have it in your purse at any time. I have this one on the shade Medium 1. And I'm gonna take a little bit with my finger. It's like a creamy consistency, so I like it a lot. Now that that is done, we're gonna apply some highlighter. And Leslie from the past, from a year ago, would say no to a highlighter. Like, I used to hate it so, so much. And now, like, since probably like November, I fell in love with highlighter. I just love it so much. I'm using the Too Faced, um, Pink diamond highlighter, adding a little bit on the tip of my nose. And we're also gonna do a bit of contouring with the Parquet Princess Tarte Palette. My camera died, so we're improvising a little bit with my phone. Um, this is a final look, but I just want to put a little bit of blush. So I'm using the California blush. This is the mini version. And actually, I think with my phone, I have better lighting. I don't know what you guys think. But yeah, this is the final look. I would usually apply some kind of lipstick or lip gloss. But honestly, since COVID, I've been like so not used to wearing lipstick. And I think most of my lipstick, most of my lipsticks are probably expired since I haven't been using them. But this is it for the look. I hope that you really like it. Let me know in the comments down below if you have this palette and if you were impressed by all of the shades. They look so, so pretty and so cool. Um, I'm really excited to creating more looks with this and trying like this two shades right here. And maybe estrogen right here, like this pink uh, kind of like glittery. Um, it looks very cool and I don't think I have seen any like that in any other palette So I hope that you really like this video and if you do so don't forget to give it a big thumbs up If you're not subscribed yet, don't forget that you can do so by clicking on the button down below and I'll see you on more of my next videos Thank you so much for watching. Bye guys